right, my amazing little artists at home. Today we are going to be painting a fall scene, like fall trees, and it's kind of a fun process. So you're going to need either, um, this is like one of those thin canvases, which I have supplies for you at school. So if you're watching this and you want to come get that, you can, you can get that. I'll set them aside for you. Um, in these little kits, I'll even message you guys tonight on Google Classroom. So you're going to use this, it's like a thin canvas. You're going to use a thin canvas. You're going to use a paper towel. I'm going to use a thick paintbrush, like a um, flat-ish one, and then a pointy one. And then I'm going to use straws. Now, if you guys picked up your art kit, I put a couple of these straws in here. These are those really skinny, um, like coffee stirrers. So we're gonna use straws. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need a paint tray. And you're gonna need acrylic paints. Now I'm using green, yellowish gold, red. These are fall colors, orange, um, brown, and a white or a cream depending on what you want so that's what we're going to be doing is um, painting a fall scene on a on a canvas or you could do a piece of paper and the technique will be done with these little straws being dipped into paint and it's going to make a beautiful fallish type tree so first things first we're going to paint our canvas our entire canvas with either the white or the cream, whichever one you want to pick. Here comes my water from my sweet little son. Thank you, Owen. Okay, there's my water. Now, I'm gonna just dip my fat paintbrush in and I'm gonna paint the entire canvas cream or white, whichever color you have. I'm gonna use cream, the reason why I'm using cream is because it will give it like an undertone of warm colors because there's yellow in cream and yellow is a warm color. So with fall art, it's all about those warm, toasty colors. Now take your time. Don't make your paint gloopy or gloppy. Take your time and paint your entire canvas cream. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Over here. Okay. I hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy and enjoying art from home. I sure am blessed this time of the day. Every week when I get to make an amazing creation with you guys. Okay. So we're just painting our entire canvas with white or cream, whatever you have on hand. And I'm using acrylic paints today. That's important to know. Acrylic paint dries within about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how thick you put it. And then it dries almost like plastic. It's pretty cool how it does that. Okay, I have my entire canvas painted cream. Okay, with acrylics, you want to clean your paint brushes in between each use. Get all the paint off, and then when I dry my paint brushes, you guys. I put it down and I go backward. Don't ever like go like this, that ruins your paintbrush. But make it go backwards and then it will hold its shape best. Okay, so now that you have your canvas either painted white or cream, we're going to add the brown to our paint tray, brown. And I gave you a paint tray in this week's um, supplies. Okay. Now, there are a million different ways to do trees. 
but you guys need to just feel what's right for you. And I like to start on the bottom and I like to make it the, the thickness I like. And I don't like to be very, I don't like to be very precise. I like to just drag my paintbrush and see where it's gonna take me. And I kind of go in quick motions. That's just kind of how I do it. And as you're working on wet paint, you're working on the white, it's actually making your stems look multicolored and multidimensional. Okay. So when you're happy with your tree branches, and you can be done. There's one. Here's gonna be another one. Okay, and you can put however many tree branches you want. This guy, he's gonna be a little bit shorter because not every tree has to be the same height, does it? So he'll be shorter like that. Cool. Remember, your art does not need to look like my art. Your art is your art. And then I'm going to do a third tree right here. And remember, I like to kind of pull backwards. So you might want to turn your canvas around and do what Mrs. Bishop's doing. You see how my hand's coming from the top? It's easier to direct where you want it to go when it's big like when you're pulling backwards like that. All right, keep going. When you're done and you like what you see, then then you can be done. Okay, make one go over here. All right, so there's my trees. Now they're not perfect, are they? And that's okay, they're my trees and I like them. Clean your paintbrush and lay it, or make it go backwards on your paper towel. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these straws and you are going to have to cut the end of the straw. So maybe your mom can help you with this. And we're gonna cut them and cut them again. And we just want to make the ends. I'm gonna show you what I did to the ends in just a minute. I'm just slicing up the ends. So then here is the end of my straw and I'm going to smash this down and open it up like so. So do you see how I was able to cut the end of my straw and open it up, there's one of them inside, and open it up, hold on just a second. All right, so open your straw up and it looks like, almost like a chimney sweep. So you do that. Now, what we're gonna do is move our paint tray over a little bit, okay? And let's start with one of the, like the green color. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of green on my paper because it's changing colors. And then, can you see where I'm at right here with the green over here? Can you see this right here? I'm pointing to it. I'm gonna dip my straw into the green and then I'm gonna dip it a couple times onto my paper towel like that. And then what I'm gonna do, however much paint, you're just going to start touching your paper or your um, canvas like so. Do you see what I'm doing? See how I'm doing that? Okay, I add green. And then I go to this one, add some green. Okay. Okay. And we're 
we're going to go here and do the same for this. Okay. And we just keep going until we're happy with what we got. Okay. So you see that? Pretty simple. Now, you can take that and clean it in your water and all of that paint, most of that paint should come out. And then we can do the next color. You see that? It's pretty simple. Looks pretty crazy right now. You might want to give it like five or so minutes to dry, but I don't have time to let it dry, so I'm going to keep going. But you guys want to give it some time to dry. And now I think I'll do orange. The fall colors are going to be orange and yellow and red and browns. Okay, so I'm going to get some orange. I have a little chunk in here. Let me take it out. Okay, same thing. Get my thing covered in paint. And then I'm going to start doing the orange. Just add your oranges over the green. There's no making mistakes, I promise you. I promise you, promise you. Okay, so now I have that tree with all of the oranges and all of the greens. And you can keep going if you want. Okay. I can go a little bit higher on here too. Okay, you see that? Now let me do this guy. Okay, and this guy. Got a gloop on there, so I'm just going to take that up. Okay, so there is my fall trees with orange. Clean off my straw. Clean off the straw. And I'm going to do red because I want to end with a light color. So I'm going to do red and then I'm going to end with yellow. So here's red. You can use whatever color red you want. This color is called Santa red. It's kind of bright, but it'll be fun. So just get a little bit. And we want to start adding the red into there. You see how it's making it look like there's like leaves everywhere, guys? And we're just using a straw. Artists get really creative with the things that they use, especially nowadays. Okay. When you're happy with it, you can move on to the next tree. to my last tree. All right, get some more up here. Okay, 
clean this off. My last color is going to be yellow. Yellow, and I got this really pretty yellow from Walmart. It's just called King's Gold. Okay, so my yellow is gonna be my last color. Then you wanna let it dry and you can always touch things up later. If you see things that maybe you don't like a certain thing or you want it to look a little bit different and you can also put leaves down on the ground here which I'll show you how to do also. Like, cause you know in fall time the leaves start falling down. So now I'm getting yellow and my yellow is gonna be my highlighter. So I'm just gonna be kind of particular with my yellow and just kind of add it to the edges. Okay, my yellow. Do you see this spot where I got really gloopy with my yellow? I'm gonna add a little bit of red back in there to like cover that up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my yellow over here and do a few of those. See how all these colors blending together really makes it look like fall. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Fall is my favorite season. My second favorite season is spring. I wonder what your favorite season is. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we have anything that you don't like, but there you go. There are the fall trees. Now, on the ground, let's do some browns because once they fall out of the tree, they turn brown, right? And let's do a little bit of yellow, especially around the tree where they would pile up. is my fall leaves using a straw and a paintbrush and a canvas. I'm going to take this and a canvas. I hope you like it. Let it dry. You have to leave it um, flat like this to dry for at least 30 minutes, if not an hour. We added a lot of paint there, but when it's done and it's dry, you can sign your art in the corner and then hang it up in your house. Remember that your trees can be as tall or as skinny or as wide, or you can have five trees or one tree, but make it your art. You can have a fantastic day and make the world a more beautiful place. Bye.